We have diagram 494C, which is all this, like that. And the information is from ARXIV dot physics forward slash 0506203V1. It's from a physics class website. The gauge non invariant of classical electromagnetism. Quote from the blog Outside the vortex core, the velocity is given. There's the equation. There, R equals the flux of vorticity inside the vortex or circulation of the velocity outside of the vortex. There's the equation again, and then it shows the cylindrical geometry equals two graphite plates in the UFO vacuum chamber engine. And quote, two horizontal plates with opposite surface currents, i.e. analogous to plane, and then we have the Couette flow. Then you have the Londell gauges A2 or A3 must be used instead of the symmetric gauge A1. And then you got your gauge transformation. One dimension A equals zero, V to and X in the brackets equals minus E with X. Then symmetric is A1 equals one half B times R equals one half and then in squares uh, sorry, brackets, minus B, Y, B, X, and a zero. And then you have becomes either a Landau, which is A2 equals zero, comma, B, X, comma, zero, or A3 equals, and then brackets, minus B, Y, comma, zero, zero. Oh, zero, comma, zero, sorry. Gauge functions are plus, minus, F equals plus, minus, R, Y, divided by 2, and E1 equals E, B1 equals B. Actually, that's not a 1, it's an apostrophe, sorry. Invariant electromagnetic field, A apostrophe minus A plus the tri upside down triangle F, and I'm not going to explain all this, you guys can look at it. There we go. Uniform magnetic field, B equals that. Symmetric gauge is that, electric field E, magnetic field is B, scalar V and vector A potentials, and then there's the, uh, it's a backward six, not a two symbol. It's my backward six symbol, I'm not sure what symbol that is, sorry. And there's the numbers there. And gauge transformations, there's two gauge function.